It's a genetic panel that we assessed uh, to see which patients with Barrett's esophagus will progress to cancer and which patients don't. And so in our findings, what we found was uh, we looked at the mutational load um, from the esophageal biopsy samples, and we found um, out of 69 patients, we had 23 who progressed and we had 46 who did not progress. And the mutational load was higher in patients who progressed versus who did not progress. So this test, it predicted with 100% sensitivity at a mutational load cutoff at 0.5 that people with Barrett's who are considered low risk, so basically patients with uh, no dysplasia or low grade dysplasia initially, with this test um, we potentially can predict which ones could develop um, cancer four years down the road. And so once we identify these high risk group, we could um, it would it could really change the way we treat that group, follow them more closely, potentially intervene early through ablative therapies. The results from this study are extremely promising and we really need to um, reproduce this in larger prospective trials as the next step. Barrett's esophagus, I don't, I don't have the exact numbers off the top of my head, but it's not very common, and neither is esophageal cancer, but I think the main thing to know is right now we do not do a good job of detecting esophageal cancer early, and also it uh, has an extremely high mortality. So despite it not being as common as something like colorectal cancer, the mortality is significantly higher. So right now what we do is we do esophageal biopsies and unfortunately most of the time right now when we catch cancer um, in, the, in the esophagus, it's usually too late. We do not do a good job catching it at the early stages. So majority tends to be around um, T2 stage. So this we would be able to um, catch it before patients even develop cancer, which really is the best thing that we can do for this group. Um, because once they do develop cancer, um, the treatments are very limited. And um, so I think by doing this, we can predict, hopefully predict it, three to four years ahead of time and prevent it from happening. This is based on esophageal biopsy samples, um, so it's not a serum test, it's based on pathology. Right now, when we take the biopsy, we can, you know, we can say it's cancer, but then by that point, the patient already has it. So uh, in this way, we could identify, based on the mutational load and the genetic abnormalities, um, that this patient is highly likely to develop cancer in the future. They don't have it right now so then we can um, intervene appropriately early on. Right now, we, for patients with non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus, um, we don't do radiofrequency ablation unless there are specific situations where you can. Um, so I think potentially, maybe if someone is identified as high risk, we may ablate them, but that's something we'll have to kind of think about, um, I think, once we know this is a test that could be used in the future.